We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right there Woo. Let me fix my curls You've tuned into Cali's world That's right, boys and girls Welcome to Cali's world Hey friends! The craziest thing just happened! I can't wait to tell you about it! But, before I do, I want to ask you a question. Do you know what courage is? It's okay if you don't. I didn't either. But, I just learned about it. Courage is being able to do something that is good, even when it is scary. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to think about. Have you ever done anything that you were scared of? I bet you have. I just did! Okay, to tell you the story, I have to take you with me. Let's go! So, it was my dad's yearly remote control car racing league championship. Every year, my dad builds his own remote control car to race in the league. I love to watch him build the car, and I love to help him in any way I can. We always go to the races together. But, this year, my dad kept winning. And kept winning until he was in the last race. Yep, he was in the championship! I was so excited! And right before the race, my dad leaned over and asked me the craziest question. He said, do you want to drive for the last race? I couldn't believe it! I mean, I did test the car out a lot around the house, but never in a race. I was scared, friends, but I really wanted to do it. What was I going to do? What would you do? I needed to have courage! Let's pause the story and check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Joshua, chapters 1 and 24. God was with Moses. Moses led the Israelites for a long time. After Moses died, God chose Joshua to lead the Israelites into the promised land called Canaan. God said to go into the land because every place Joshua stepped would be theirs. This was a big deal. And God encouraged Joshua with these comforting words. I will be with you just like I was with Moses. I will never leave you. Be strong and courageous as you lead the people. They will take over the land just as I promised a long time ago. Be strong and courageous and listen to my words. Read the book of law every day and do what it says and everything will go well. Do not lose hope. I am with you wherever you go. Joshua believed in God's word and chose to have courage. Joshua told the people to get ready because in three days they will go into the promised land. He got the people together and gave them the courage to fight. Not long afterwards, they fought and won. God's people entered the promised land. Joshua told the people to keep trusting God and to remember all the wonderful things that God has done. Joshua and the Israelites were able to be strong and courageous when they remembered God's word. Whenever we feel afraid, we can remember that. Courage comes from knowing God's words. about racing my dad's remote control car. Just like Joshua remembered God's words and all the things God had done, I knew that my dad wouldn't ask me to drive if he didn't believe I could do it. He even said, Kelly, I know you can do it. So I took the controls. The race was off. I was nervous, so I got a little bit of a slow start. I thought to myself, it's okay, Callie. At least he tried. But then, as the race went on, I started to win. I couldn't believe it. My dad really did build a fast car. The last turn, it was just me and one more car. And guess what? I went right around them and won. Remembering my dad's words and winning that race is fun. But it can be a lot harder to remember God's words and have courage like Joshua did. Have you ever had to have courage, friends? That means doing something when you were scared. Remembering God's love and God's word is the best thing you can do when you need to have courage. Courage comes from knowing God's words. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye!
Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.